Hello Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma Scorpio channel. This is for all those Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury and Scorpio are dealing with one. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for more personals. I am on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. You can reach out to me on the following. Even for the white previous spells or manifestation bracelets, which are intention charged in pure crystals. And follow my Instagram for upcoming Jan free predictions in shop. We're coming up with live q a so do subscribe and stay tuned with both my channels which is i enigma and i enigma scorpio check out more signs on another channel as well scorpio let's see what are the messages for you divine messages from my beautiful beautiful scorpios okay the world, the five of wands, the queen of wands. Okay, let's start with the first three. What I'm seeing is that your universe is blessing you with a lot more than you expected and you're happy. You're flaunting it all and you're feeling so good about yourself. You're like, oh my gosh, I have this, I have that. You know, you're like, everything is just on your feet at your feet and you're like literally living your dream life i feel that's how your coming future is going to be like it's like a major wish came true or you got a vacation out where you're traveling a lot or you're buying new clothes or there's some some sort of movement is happening which is massive which is like unexpected shifts in your life and i feel while you're moving towards this growth and abundant life you have people around you that keep looking at you, that notice you a lot, are are jealous. I'm seeing people are like talking behind your back and talking all the negative things. Not because you're a negative person, it's because they can't have what you have. And the more you're flaunting, the more it makes them feel bad about you, themselves. And that's why they've been talking and gossiping about you. And it's like, you have people around you, some people around you that act like gaslighters, okay? So, never the mind, you know, it's not affecting you because you're in this energy of I am the best. I have it all and I deserve it best. So, there's something about you that's extremely positive. Your vibrations have raised so high that there's no one around that's your match. And that is why you're ignoring all of these chit chatters okay drama queens or drama kings or whatever <clears throat> so you're literally visible your growth is literally visible to the people around your personality is changing you're becoming more open and intense about yourself and about your likings and dislikings you are in love with yourself and your appeal is rising okay and you're becoming more attractive and it's also because you've started to follow your heart's desire. You're not listening to other people's validation. You're doing your own thing. And that is why people are like, stop, don't do this. Okay, be like us. So it's it's that energy that you can sense from the distance. Okay, what else? I'm seeing the world is about to come at your feet. Okay, a high priestess. And the two of pentacles. You guys might do two things. I feel like whatever you do, Scorpio, you may be doing a side hustle and then you're doing a main work. And you have money coming from both. And I feel that makes you feel happy and revived. It's something about fashion designing, something about your painting, you know. So I am sensing that you, um, Scorpio, are working on your goals and putting your best foot forward and i feel you're doing something with your money maybe you're investing money or saving money but it's like just keeps on doubling up okay i'm also seeing these tarot readings have really helped you bring out the inner um spiritual side of you and you've become more in tune with your needs with the universe alignment with the universe you are becoming more um you know aligned okay and that is why whatever your wish is coming out to be true your wish is coming into fruition some of you there's a pisces that has kind of uh, been hating you in the recent past and has been talking behind your back and now is struggling to live without you 
this person is someone from the past are wanting to connect with you once again and you know but they're still in this two minds they're like what if the Scorpio rejects me what if I end up losing my ego in front of them I lose this competition that we are in there's a power str struggle between you and someone going on and they don't want to give their power for the sake of this reconciliation thing they want to chat with you there's someone that wants to really talk to you the reason is you're doing yourself you're living your life the way you want and there's no one that's telling you to do this or do that you're living your life in your own terms and you're doing well so that is something that's not going down well with the people in general or this particular person from the past that wants to reconnect with you i'm sensing your person is trying to get close to the readers or trying to get readings over you if they know tarot otherwise through astrology through other means through occult i'm seeing them reaching out to these places and people to get the answers but they're confused. The more people they're reaching out, the more confused they are. It's simple. They need to reach out to you uh, straight away, right? But they're also very secretive. Your person is someone that's very secretive, that's very mysterious. They don't like that people know what's going on in their mind. So they like to keep themselves secretive. So they like that energy around themselves, which is mysterious. I think that's why you got attracted to this person. And they want to keep that mysteriousness alive. If they reach out to you and tell you what they feel exactly, you might lose interest. That's what they think. For some of you, I think you, Scorpio, if it's about you, I'm definitely seeing you're more in tune with your inner child. It's It feels like your inner child is getting more healed. You're not taking interest in outward things and you're more interested in what makes you happy and keeping things to yourself. You're not anymore talking about your personal life or asking about your personal life to other people. It's more about you keeping things secret. You're not showing the world, okay, this is what I've planned. This is what I'm going to do. So there's something about you which is very secretive, mysterious, and then you come out with something new and surprise people. That's your energy, okay, in the coming time. The depth. Scorpio. My gosh. I feel like whoever was resisting reconciling with you is going to let go of all the ego and the power struggle you guys are on and come towards you with a message or with a communication i'm seeing someone from the past is letting go of their so-called you know aura that they want you to see they're sharing their true uh face and they're coming clear towards you they are like effort i'm not gonna stop anymore i have to reach out to the scorpion talk to them because i'm just missing them like anything so there's someone that is definitely missing you like anything and wants to reach out to you they don't want to put up a face or act they don't want any drama at all now they want to come straight forward and talk to you about their feelings three of pentacles i'm seeing you being confused when it comes to this person you're like maybe i'm not interested that's how you're gonna be um uh, treating them they're like let's work things out we want we we are good for each other let's just you know get back to normal and start afresh and let let let's get back you know and work things out that's what i feel your person's going to say because they'll be talking to you about how i was dreaming about you scorpio how you've grown so big in your life and i want to be a part of your life you know that's the energy that they will be giving to you you will know that because you've started to love yourself and appearing good doing well this is why they're dreaming of you and they think that you have high self-worth so they want to be a part of your life and now they want to fix things now they want to work things out with you but you might be at such a vibration where you think this person is not at your level anymore and you don't want to deal with them anymore you're like i'm done okay that's your energy you're like i'm done you could be dealing with another scorpio or aquarius that's your energy you're like i'm done i may not be interested you will definitely feel special that someone from the past that literally didn't give an f now wants you okay that's something that will make you happy though you're very much at peace and harmony and you're very aligned with the universe okay with, with the earth and the heaven you know 
that everything belongs to you and you can manifest it easily and i feel this energy of yours might freak this person out and they might not come too openly in front of you because they know that they're looking stupid while they're approaching you they'd still lie to you guys okay because they can't handle your i feel this person even though they like you they can't handle your self-worth they can't handle your value because they think that you're way beyond their league i'm i'm seeing them asking you out okay i'm seeing them wanting to connect with you alone like where there are no people and just talk to you you know they want to spend time with you so i'm definitely seeing they're not able to say this but you'll understand you'll get that that they want to ask you out so two of cups there's a mutual energy over here gosh i feel like scorpio this past person is going to get out of control they're going to get out of control this is someone that's like a loser <laughs> I feel like they are someone that feels very scared and intimidated by you. They freak out every time they see you. But they still want to keep up that face where they want to show you that they're strong. And that they're better than you. So that they can, you know, control the situation. Okay. So this person is definitely attracted to you and wants to date you. Okay. I want to get more answers related to this. <clears throat> You might feel like they're all over you and you want space. You might ask them as well. That's an embarrassment to them, but it's good. It was my fault, but I blamed you. This person knows. They know that what they did was not acceptable by you. And now they're regretting it. Okay. They lied that they're not interested. That's the thing. They lied that. I am not available. I feel even though I feel even though you are apart this person is right now not talking to you but they're planning to reach out to you okay because they can feel your energy everywhere they go they miss you a lot there's someone that's missing you a lot the real reason behind it is that you are not you you never get caught in their hands it's like you always they chase you and you keep running and that's something that excites them that's it or they might be interested in your money or your status. So I'm seeing this person is not coming from an honest space, okay? Or from a true side, from an emotional source. They're obsessing over you, sure. But I'm not seeing this as something that you can rely on for a long-term thing. Two of Swords. You're confused. You're like, okay, Nikma, what are you saying? Should I still go back to the past or should I move on? That's a clear message for you, Scorpios, that you really need to move forward here. Okay? You really need to move forward because this person is a distraction in your way towards your ultimate soulmate. And we have marriage. What you don't see coming is this person the marriage is coming into your life i feel like you're about to get married only if you keep your mind at one direction stay focused and once you've decided you've decided for life okay six of emotions oh my gosh someone from the past is heavily missing you guys and i feel they're too afraid of you choosing someone else over them and they might want to marry you but this is like you are done with that when you're done you're done okay that's your energy let me see more to this scorpio getting to know each other healing family issues keep an open mind mm -hmm. playfulness passion give relationship a chance romantic feelings release your ex that's your answer let your friends help you okay very soon what I am seeing is there's someone new that's about to come into your life. Uh, 
and I feel like this is someone that your family will super duper like okay they will be your family's favorite because your family is going to be super happy that finally you're dating someone at your level someone is definitely at your level and that makes them super happy but the message for you is to keep your options open because you might not be aware that there's someone that is coming to your life super fast to ask you out to ask you for marriage and there will be a passionate affair between you two but first you have to focus all your energy into self-love so that you can bring your vibration to that point when you meet your person they see you as someone that are that is on the same status because what you want in your person should be the reflection of you no i, I mean to say whoever is attracted towards you is actually your reflection so if you're at high vibe you're attracting someone high vibe if you're at low vibe you're attracting someone at low vibe so you have to be at that vibration to attract something that you always want. So it is important that you first of all release this past person. If they're coming, if they want a chance, it's okay, cool. You can go out, but that's it. You can't think of a future, okay? But I'm definitely seeing there's a new romance that's going to begin with this new person. They might be a friend initially and turn into a, your lover or you may meet this person through your mutual friends, okay? But I'm definitely seeing give them a chance to get to know you because initially you might be like, maybe I'm not interested. But when you get to talk to them and know them in person, you'll be so happy because this person is enjoyable, playful, fun, at the same time serious, romantic, passionate and there to marry you. So yes, that's the message for you that you need to let go of any constraints or restrictions or criteria you've set for your life partner. Okay. And main thing, release. Release was not meant for you, okay? Knight of Voices. Your person could be into law or the lovers. This is someone new. This could be a Gemini, Libra. Yes, five of inspiration. I feel like you might go through certain like two or three options to end up into this person because you have options coming in. This person is rich. They have good money. They have good reputation. They might be very successful and they're a go-getter. They're someone that like someone that's always chasing success and this person is quite successful. They have good money and they have good stuff to offer you. They might also do it grand, whatever this marriage and party will be an event will be it will be grand i feel this person is someone that wants everything grand and luxurious like you <clears throat> scorpio might get a nice expensive gift from them that's also what i'm seeing but this is someone new and you might meet two or three people before you end up meeting them and it's gonna be super fast but i'm definitely seeing that you will be on someone's mind literally when they reach out to you and offer you something i'm seeing a gift as well you might receive a gift as well round and round and round and round new life if you stop going in circles with a past person you don't know what's coming in for you there's a new beginning coming in for you there's new life coming in for you okay some of you 39 some of you 25 all good some of you older younger all good don't let your past that's a clear message you don't let your past hold you back because something big is about to come into your life so be prepared because this is a life-changing thing that you will be experiencing and you don't want to like waste that just because you're still stuck in the past why okay you don't want that so here's some materials is like new beginning new love new money there's a raise in vibration i feel like your person is extremely talented the one that's coming into your life regret guilt my gosh humor i feel like uh, in your relationships there's some past traumas that you're still carrying with you scorpio maybe you think that you did something wrong and you need to go back and fix this or that you feel sometimes you go into guilt trip for things you haven't done okay sometimes you regret like i should have done this a relationship would have like gone further it's not like that just take it easy take a chill pill live your life lightheartedly because whatever is not meant to be is not meant to be follow your life purpose and let relationships flourish on its own so i feel that's the way to go by and that is what is coming scorpio 
beware of what you're projecting. As I was telling you, what you want in your partner is first you need to become that. Okay. That's a major, major message for you. So what you admire, the qualities you want in your person could be, should be first coming from you. So I'm seeing a person could have a great build or you have. But I'm definitely seeing if you want someone to be really good in appearance, you have to first be that. If you want someone to be very successful, you have to be that. If you want a fitness coach, you have to be one. You know, or you have to be fit first. There are little like things. I feel what you want in your person is first you need to be. But I'm definitely seeing you're about to build a dream life. And it all starts from within, within you. So construct, you know. However you want your life to be constructed, you first become that. One more message I will be picking. Scorpio. Okay. Oh my gosh, why is this one thing to come up? I don't want to pick this. I'm going to shuffle and then pick. Okay, again. Your confidence is at peak. Your person is very confident, I feel. It. It's, it's your person. I feel they're 36. Um, yes, you have new person coming in, which is going to be opening the door to your personal happiness and healing. So definitely you'll find more options for yourself because you might not know that there are a lot many options around you. If you just look around, if you go out of your comfort zone, do things that you've never done before, you might end up meeting your one and only as soon as possible. So first make changes within you. That's about your read. I'll come back with more. Do not forget to like this video for sure and subscribe and comment down below so that we can do more such stuff for my Scorpio people. And a very happy new year to each one of you. God bless you. Bye.